spoke to the big homie, he told me I'll work hard enough. Oh, what? That's my inspiration. Come back, because I'm looking at him like, what, nigga? You always shooting down the records. All right, now let's Shit's get it. Shit's be whack. It's about true life son of the Rockefeller. Niggas are saying, like, he got signed to Rockefeller on the strength of muscle. Is that true? Okay. And the little niggas is out there busting their guns, man. Why the enemies ain't attacking now? All right, let's go into this whole um, Beanie Seagull shit, man. <laughs> let's go straight to the point, man. That, um, <laughs> the fuck is Jay Z, I guess, this record and, and Memphis Bleak Rockefeller this record. Well, you heard that joint? Now they didn't hear it. You didn't Lie. hear it? I heard about it. Uh, like, I can't listen to Beans this me. Like, I can't even diss Beans. Like, you ain't got no rebuttal, nigga. You don't never see me. You don't never see me. You not in Brooklyn. You don't even be in fucking New York. Fuck out of here. This is be fraud, man. Ain't fucking with it. Come on, shout out my man. No, that was bullshit. How can I diss you? Like, you my man. I'm going to discredit everything we built up, and now I'm going to discredit you. So, I'm a real nigga. Like, my thing is I just won't say nothing, man. Whatever he going through, I hope he gets to the end of it. That's what crab niggas do. Fuck. You ain't no bigger than the Lord. They say the Lord will build you up to break you down. Fuck is you. When do you see me? About what? Jay Z hype, man. Alright. We we now here with Beanie Siegel. Man hype, man. Get out of here, please. We now here with Beanie Siegel. You know what I'm saying? Siegel fresh out the gym. You know what I'm saying? Forbes DVD. My nigga Smith. Backdoor movement. Official Brooklyn nigga. That fucks with Siegel hard. Our nigga Miles here. Yo, see, yeah. you seen a little piece of the interview and shit like that, right? Yeah. What's your mind frame on that interview or what you saw? I mean, that's like anything. You know, I, you like, if a nigga got life in jail and you out on the street and you, 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 you want to free, you can be, basically say what the fuck you want to say about that nigga. How you gonna get to you? How you gonna run into you? If you're a square, if you ain't gonna never get a parking ticket, you ain't gonna never go to the precinct, get fingerprinted, you know what I mean? State road, the county, or nothing. So you basically scot free. You can say anything, you know what I mean? So a nigga ain't gonna say too much disrespectful shit out of his mouth knowing that he can get touched. So, what I think about the interview, I think it's bullshit. Bleak said he ain't hear the record. You heard the record. You heard more than one, you know what I mean? And it ain't no built up animosity shit. The shit stemmed from a situation, you know, from me that happened, you know, with, with uh, Jay-Z bodyguard put his hands put his hands on me, not in a manner that was harmful to me, but in a, in a, in a manner where he shouldn't have, you know what I mean, he touched me, period. On a, on, a, on, a, on a pushing me back tip. And I addressed Jay about it in front of his, I guess A-list company, you know what I mean? And I guess he ain't like that too much. Cause after that, I, I think that's the opening of the 4040 Club. After that, I never saw Jay again. Never talked to him again. Then a couple months went past or whatever, you know what I mean? Even I, I even tried to reach out on him. You had to, it got to the point where you had to talk to Jay through like, you had to get to like four different people to talk to Jay. It got real corporate. Yeah, you, you gotta talk to Lenny S, then Lenny S gotta get the okay from Carlene, then Carlene, you know what I mean? Gotta uh, run it past whoever, the John McMillian, and then get the John and get the Jay. Nobody going through that bullshit. I wanna ask this question though, who the fuck is Carlene? Why they give us so, so much power and shit? Like, I mean, she, I, I guess she's Jay, Jay I, I would, I, I would, Give it a title as Jay Z personal assistant. She, you know what I mean? She is Jay personal assistant. Okay, definitely. So, 
what Beanie Siegel doing these current days? Like, what you got cooking right now? Right now, you know what I mean? I just, in the last couple years, I just, I was just enjoying just being regular. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Spending more time with my children, my kids, enjoying life. Uh, trying the best of my ability to get myself right spiritually. You know what I mean? Within myself. Religiously and just uh, just living life, you know what I mean? Enjoying it. In What's your current home? Um, you know what I mean? Studio yeah. every now and then. Definitely. What's your current religion for those who don't know? My current religion? My, yeah. It has been my religion for uh, my way of life. Yeah. I wouldn't say religion is is no surprise. It's slam. Okay. For those that don't know, you know what I'm saying? So what your day consists of? Because people got it fucked up that, you know, Beanie Siegel might not have no bread in his pocket. You know what I'm saying? Or might just be bitter because Jay-Z ain't fucking with a nigga. Like, what you got to say to I those mean, people? I can't. I, like, I ain't put an album out. I, I do, I, I'm on the road at least three times a week collecting bread. You know what I mean? I get, I mean, not to put out my business on what I, you know what I mean? I, my money and mm -hmm. my situation. I might not have the money that I did have, but for me not to put an album out in years and be able to still do what I want and take care of my family, you know what I mean? I'm good. No way. Just shut I mean, just to, just, I mean, if you look at it, like I'm, I, I'm still going through legal issues right now. I, I got legal issues saying that I didn't pay taxes. I owe the IRS. Uh, from the year 2004 and 2005, I owe them 1.5 million mm. in taxes. So, in order to owe somebody 1.5 million in taxes in 04 and 05, that's from 04 and 05. Okay. You know what I mean? And if you do the, if you think about it, I was I was in federal I was in the federal penitentiary in 04 and 05. Mm. So I made over 300 three. Uh, Let's say I made up like four million dollars while sitting in the jail cell in four or five. Wow. That's me. And I do shows, I'm on the road, so a lot of my bread tax free. Like when kids say he got a million in the house, all from drug dealers in the South, that shit be real. Yes, sir. Speaking of um that Jada Kiss shit, I'm 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 glad you brought that up. When y'all had that little battle, this question never got answered. Like, what was going through your mind, like when you was going at Kiss, cause you know like, I mean we gonna Niggas just keep it real. Bitching. Niggas was bitching, like, it was, it was, it was, it was, it, shit was being said that niggas was saying subliminal about kissing them, you know what I mean, not to nickname it, mm -hmm. you know, Jay was, you know what I mean, throwing little shots, you know what I mean, at, at Kiss, he, uh, he, he, uh, I think Jada Kiss was on a, on a Maya remix or some shit, and uh -huh. then Jay took that joint. And then Kiss was on the R. Kelly joint, and Jay uh, finagled that uh, remix. The Fiesta shit it was like after the original was probably this, and then Kiss saying y'all know who the best is, Big ain't here, and Styles blatantly said, you know what I mean, S said something. I forget the rhyme he told him, hit him by this man to dash and this, that, and the third. And Jay wouldn't respond to them. He responded to my deep. He thought Nas was on his last leg. He also buy Food for Thought t-shirts. You want one of them t-shirts right now? Go to ForbesDVD.com, click the banner, and place your order. Or if you want one of them t-shirts right right now, you want somebody to deliver it to your door, make sure you dial this number, 646-397-7095. That's 646-397-7095. Doggy Diamonds, and I'm gone.